Remember, if you group some numbers together, that's called chunking, like the first three di digits in the last four. Today we're going to learn to keep numbers in our head by chunking to 10. We're going to keep track of all the numbers that add to 10 and then work our problem. Hey, let's begin. All right, let's set up a new question here. All right, well, if you want to add 7 plus 8, now you may have memorized your tables, that's fine, but it's also good to be able to think, or this will help you remember your tables. We first look at the number 7 in red, and what we realize that we can make a 10 out of that by taking a 3 out of the 8. And what are we going to get? If you look at it, we're going to get a 10 and a 5. And why is that important? Well, first of all, we can keep that in our head if we practice. And adding 10 is very easy. 10 plus 5 is 15. So let's take a new question. All right. Now, here's a situation where the numbers already chunk to 10. So there's no need for transferring some information. It really isn't. But let's take a look at what that looks like. We brought the 3 over to the 7 and we had none left. And 10 plus 0 is 10. Again, that can be answered by chunking or realize <coughs> excuse me, that that pair adds to 10. Let's take another one. Ah, 9 and 5. If you follow our blue arrows, that means we take a 1 away from 5 and bring it down to 10. We are again chunking 10s. So what we're going to have is 10 plus 4, which is very easy to add. It turns out that you can chunk to a lot of numbers. Let's try. Well, let's do these first. This is sort of our beginning of chunking. If we want to add 8 and 7, or 7 plus 8, what we do is we chunk 3 from the 8, or bring 3 from the 8 and chunk it to the 7. So we can think of 7 plus 8 as nothing more than 10 plus 5 which is easy. So I'm going to let you practice a little bit and remember you can pause this video by just clicking on it and it is important because then you can think about it before you say show answer. Let me give you maybe 15 or 20 very quick ones. Let's take a pause for a minute and realize that you can actually do this on paper if you wish. All you have to do is just, you know, sketch an 8 plus 4 and then below it, move, just count that as the same as 10 plus 2. But it's really good if you can keep these things in your mind because memory mathematics is the way to understand mathematical processes. It's a very interesting situation. Let's have a few more, and then you can always restart this video to practice some more. The other thing is remember, you can
always pause this video. Excuse me. Alrighty, a couple more. Okay, now please note again that if you, these this is an Excel spreadsheet, and if you had a copy of this, you could practice all you would like. As a matter of fact, almost everyone has Excel. You need to use Excel with macros. It's a macro file, and this would be very good for practice. And if you would like more information about that, go to www.mathonmonday.com and email me. Anyway. I hope you're having a good day. Bye.